there really is no purpose into today's video but today it's about 40 50 degrees out the sun is kind of peeking through the clouds a little bit today but i'm just out and about driving around the countryside of pennsylvania i'm out in mcgee's mills right now there's this covered bridge here it's not the first time that i've been here but it'll be the first time that i have video gear with me and i thought i'd bring you guys along so this is the mcgee's mill cover bridge lots of cover bridge here in pennsylvania this is one of them so built in 1873 by thomas mcgee this cover bridge here has two different pull off spots for you to park your car one on each side of the bridge there are some pathways here on this side down to the water water is up pretty high today i'll show you that here in a minute As they come out and do these videos, they're not always the most exciting, but there is tons and tons of cover bridges across Pennsylvania. I'm not really planning any of my stops. I don't know where my next stop could end up. I've been here before, so when I seen it come up on my GPS there, I was like, let's stop, let's see. Had the camera, had the drone, and figured why not get uh, some video, get some uh, photos, and Utilize it in maybe this video, utilize it in upcoming videos, but as a hobbyist, I just enjoy coming out. Uh, you could just hear the traffic over here on 36. That's a truck going up the incline right over here. Yep, there it goes. So yeah, as a hobbyist, because that's what I do. I do this as a hobbyist, come out and just enjoy flying the drone, enjoying new locations to fly it and uh, one of the things that I'm doing in the background is I'm, I'm looking to take what I've been doing as a hobbyist for over the last three to four years now and actually getting a certification so that I can change it from being just hobby stuff that I do and actually do it uh, for a business purpose. But to get ready for that test is happening in the background. <music>
So it's a nice little town here, Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Been wanting to get down here for a little while to do some videoing and get some photos of the downtown area and right along the river here. So that's where we're gonna wrap things up today with our videos here in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. That's where today's video has brought me and just down here by the river and this is pretty cool. <laughs> try to do a full video on this at some point in the spring slash summertime when it's a little a little nicer out so this here is a local spot back in the woods it's a uh, belgers rocks you'll see why here in just a second why it's called belgers rocks but it's a cool place to come been here several times as a kid and we'll definitely bring my kids here to check it out and uh, you can climb through all the different rocks and stuff here. There's actually two or three different caves that are back through these rocks that you can go down through and climb through the rocks. So it's a, it's a pretty cool local place. So one of the caves that I've done back here several times as a kid is called the Ice Cave. Um, you're underground for most of that adventure. Definitely get out here sometime and do that. But yeah, you come up to the edge here and that's probably a good 30 feet uh, drop just right here. I think that's gonna wrap up today's video here. Belgers Rocks, just outside of Curvinsville, Pennsylvania. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, guys, we will catch you in our next video.